John Doomsday Howard. Well, you got a big fight coming up against Matt Brown on Sunday, so let me ask you right off the bat, how is your training camp coming along? Uh, my training camp is awesome. I have a I have a training camp. Uh, I train with my crew, also uh, um, and it was interesting to me. So I had a good team, good camp, man. It's good and so good. And, uh, we're ready for this fight. Awesome. You had a last-minute change uh, in opponent. You were originally supposed to fight Martin Campman, and he had to pull out, so then it was replaced by Matt Brown. What effect does that have on uh, on your training? Um, not, too, not too much effect, man. Uh, we took in too far. Uh, my battle was a fighter, which is a perfect way to get more fighter. Uh, I think Matt Brown is a better fighter than Martin Campman. Um, yeah, well, my next question actually was, you know, is there anything you feel that, you know, Matt Brown – brings to the table that you'd be more concerned about than Martin Campman. Would, would it be the striking aspect of things? Well, that's just a long spot. It's just, I, I believe that Brian has Martin Campman. He's a banger. He goes there to fight. So, there's a difference between Campman and Martin um, yeah, actually, you know, bo- both you and y- you uh, and Matt Brown are both guys who really like to keep the fight standing. So, th- does this mean we're destined to see a slugfest, John? <laughs> awesome <laughs> that's what we want to hear let me ask you I, I know you recently trained uh, in Colorado with, with Marquois and, and, and Shane Carwin and those guys over there talk to us about that experience and, and what difference do you feel it's, it's made in your game um, just, uh, I got this call with most people man and just that you know, it was real serious they told me like this would be training really hard I have my own you know cool John I have it he worked for me at uh, the it, it was great. Um, also, I just think that one Glover is a great just coach and a great one but the game. It just, it just helped so much. Yeah, this is a this is a big fight for you, you know, uh, John. Coming off, you know, uh, you've lost your last two fights, and Matt Brown himself has lost his last three fights, I believe. Um, did, do you feel that there's added pressure for you, uh, more so than your normal fights being in this situation? Not really, man. I feel like this, man. I'm real with it. I believe in the God. You know, to be able to win and just go out of you, to be it, you know? There's no pressure to me. The job is to fight correctly and that. You know, I'm lit. I'm worried about that. Well, that could really be my result. Uh, my performance, that's it. Well, I'm going to go to the form of what I'm going to do. Yeah. Uh, we know, John, that you know uh, getting down to 170 is a pretty big weight cut for you. <laughs> so I wanted to ask you, uh, how did it go? It, it, do you have it down to a science now, or, or is cutting that much weight still a difficult process for you? It's not an easy process, but I have a better experience than that. You know, I can't get my weight cut. I'm looking at it to try to put it on. I'm doing better weight. And I never see the experience, but I don't think I'm going to go with it. Mm-hmm. Let's uh, let's assume, uh, John, that you do emerge uh, victorious this week. Uh, y- your dislike for Anthony Rumble Johnson has obviously been no secret, uh, and he was supposed to fight Nate Marquardt Sunday, and he had to withdraw due to injury. Um, since you guys are almost on the same fight schedule, John, if you win this Sunday, how hard are you going to lobby to have Rumble Johnson as your next opponent? Uh, I'm on the hard because I really I'm not really sure. Um, if you want to fight and not fall out of the other stuff like that, and that will be it. Like, something you are seeing. You know, my, my whole attitude is with the fight, but I'd rather have it with people. Either way, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm out. So, you know, that, that's my choice. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. i somehow. But... Let me ask you, John. I, I know one of the... Uh... The hot topics in MMA world has been the decline in uh, submission submission finishes in the UFC, uh, and and that's drawing into the question the importance of jujitsu uh, in today's MMA. You're a guy that likes to, to to stand and bang, but let me ask you: Why do you feel that submissions are becoming less and less frequent? Because um, submissions are harder. Well, submission is a defend man. You know how that would help? Some guy who's a karate guy. Guy who when he gets a big, he just 
All right, John, before we uh, let you go, do you got any uh, shout-outs you want to give? Anybody you want to say hello to? Definitely, man. I want to say hello to my wife, crew. Just Jimmy Taylor, who I just took over. He did too. My grad's training. My channel, all the people out there, man. A lot of people, I got to think, call them up to introduce the black bow. Tana, I was going to drive out the house. Always, you know, he, he all right, John. Well, as always, you get all of Massachusetts behind you, buddy. So good luck to you uh, come Sunday against Matt Brown. Thank you, man. Well, I'm the way, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 All right, John. Thanks for calling in.